We fell in love and that shit hurt me to the core Lately I've been feeling like the love we got is war but The day he was born, he was a big child He almost killed me <laughs> Alex was a tough kid Tough kid to uh, grow up He was much like myself in that aspect we both had um like ADHD. We both was like something crazy to deal with around the house. You don't really, really love me like you used to. You don't really, really love me like you used to. You don't Alex was um he 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 dictated the energy in the room when he walked in. You know, every time you know he stepped in the room, it was like it was a light. He was the life of the party. Like he was he was just a happy soul. He was hilarious. He's a goofball. He's real humble. You don't know how many times he got on my nerves. <laughs> it's like you can't. It's like a superpower he had. Like, like you just can't be mad at him. Like, he's the type of person. If it was the last dollar in his pocket, he would give it to you. The 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 last plate of food he had, he'll give it to you. One foot is in love, and then the others out the door. Lately, I've been feeling like the love we got is war. I don't consider Kodak as a rapper. I consider Kodak as an artist. That's how we always refer to each other, because we don't just make music, microwave music, as we used to call it. We make longevity music. Kodak put his life in his music. So when you felt his pain, when he made his song, you feel that. Like, if he was going through something, you feel it. But he'll still let you know, like, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be cool. My foot is in love and then the others out the door. Lately, I've been feeling like the love we got is war. I was at home. My brother called me about two o'clock in the morning. He told me Alex is dead. I was waiting on his call. I had just spoken to him five minutes before that, and I was just like, "I'm just waiting for you to get home." He's like, "Okay, I'm gonna call you when I get home. I'm on my way to pick up Nadia." I could. I just know I started screaming. And my husband was like, "What happened? What happened?" I just couldn't talk, but he knew something bad because the way up, you know. When I hurt my sister, he told me that my whole world crumbled. I, I didn't want to believe it, so I just like grabbed him and I opened his jacket and I didn't see no no blood, no bullets. I was like, no, you're good, like you're okay, but he he was already gone. <laughs> It's like I used to love you, I used to touch you Lady, I don't really know if I trust you Lady, I don't really know I got some feelings I don't ever show I think he would want to be remembered as a father I know that's probably a cliche thing But I also know how much he valued that once he got that People do it just to, to get a name and all that But he want to take care of his kids That he was trying to make it out for all of us He was trying to make a way for her he wanted all of this for them. This was for them. Yeah, they say, you know, mom, you did a good job with him. He's gonna take care of you and all of that. This was for his girls. He, he was pushing hard with this music thing because he wanted to give them a better life. He wanted them out of Philadelphia and he was on his way. He was on his way. He was actually facing a lot of issues that uh, I never really knew about until he died. I really do feel like Alex was like a blessing to everybody. Like. Like, God really sent everybody an angel, and he changed everybody's life, like, in so many ways, and he was broken himself. You tried to move on, you cannot move.